we are finally going to be tackling this natural hair of mine. For those of you guys who have been kind of following my journey, especially as of recently, y'all know that I'm on a journey of nursing my curls back to life after putting entirely too much heat on my hair last year. If you don't know about that journey thus far, I have some videos on my channel that you can watch after this one to bring you up to speed. However, before I hop into this, I would just like to thank Karma for sponsoring this video. Some of you may remember Karma by its former name, Shop Tagger, which is an app and Chrome extension that scans the web to find various ways to save you money. Now, I personally have been obsessing over Karma lately because as a lot of y'all know, your girl is on a journey of elevating all aspects of my life, whether it be my hair, my wardrobe, home decor for our new apartment, like just everything. And Karma has helped me save hundreds, y'all, hundreds, by keeping me up to date when prices drop and providing me with coupon codes at checkout. It's super easy to download. It only takes like five seconds. And although I mentioned to you guys that Karma is an app, I highly, I mean highly recommend you guys for sure downloading the Chrome extension to your desktop because it instantly scans your cart for coupon codes at checkout, which is a special feature that Karma offers only on your computer. So the plugin is a must. Whatever site you go to, you can track items, save things you're interested in, and get notifications via email or mobile push when the item you save comes back in stock, is on sale, or has an active coupon code. Just to give you an example of how easy it is, let's use one of the products I'll be using in today's video as an example. As you can see here, all I have to do is click the Karma logo on the side of the page. Then you can manage everything for the item by setting it to alert you when it goes on sale or drops in price. Not only that, you can create your own personalized wish list to track the items you save all in one place to keep yourself organized. And as if all of this wasn't enticing enough for you to go ahead and download Karma, they also offer a cashback feature which allows you to earn cash via PayPal when you shop from some select retailers. So if you're somebody like me who's into saving money, saving them coins, earning cash back, I mean, I don't know who wouldn't be. Definitely make sure you click the link in my description box below to get Karma's Chrome extension so you can start saving them coins, sis, and maybe even earning a little money in the pocket. But all right, y'all, without further ado, Let's hop into this video. So just like any other typical wash day for me, I like to thoroughly drench my hair first before applying any products and separate my hair into four sections. For each section, I like to apply a heavy handed amount of conditioner before creating subsections to start detangling. Now here's my first subsection. I finger detangle it first. And then once it's fully finger detangled, I like to go in with a tangle teaser just to make sure there's no kinks or tangles left. And to finish off the section, I two strand twist it. I repeat the same exact steps and process all throughout my hair, making sure that I apply the conditioner, finger to tangle first, go in with my tangle teaser, Ugh, not that part, <laughs> then finish off the section with a two strand twist. Once my hair has been fully detangled and two strand twisted, this is what my hair is looking like. This makes for the easiest wash day routine if you have type four hair, ladies and gentlemen. Now I go ahead and rinse out all that conditioner before I apply shampoo. Now for this particular wash day routine, I switched it up a little bit. I am shampooing my hair twice, not only because it's dirty, but because I'm trying a new hair product to hopefully bring my curls back to life. For the first shampoo, I decided to use a staple sulfate free shampoo because I knew it wasn't gonna be stripping but also do what I needed to do in terms of cleansing my hair. Now I rinse that out before applying this new shampoo that I'm trying from this Curlific collection from Afro G. A few of you guys suggested for me to give this line a try when I first announced that I ruined my natural hair. So I went ahead and purchased the shampoo, curl treatment, and curling jelly, which you'll see me use throughout this video. As for the shampoo though, two things that I wanna note is that I definitely feel like I got my hair super clean, like squeaky clean, but I also felt that my hair was super stripped after I rinse the shampoo out. Now the second product I tried from their line is this Curlific Texture Treatment. This was like a fan fave. I watched a lot of YouTube reviews and stuff of people using these products before I purchased them myself. And I definitely can see why people enjoyed them so much. The slip was amazing. I definitely started to see my curls coming back and getting more defined than I've seen them be in a long time. Not to mention all the moisture that I felt like the Curlific shampoo stripped from my hair. Following up with the texture treatment, right after replenished it right away. Take this slow down clip for example. This is before applying any product, so right after rinsing out the shampoo. Once I started applying the Curlific Texture Treatment, you guys can see that slip happening, the definition is coming, my curls are clumping together really well, and I feel like overall you can just literally see my hair coming back to life. So I continued this process all throughout my hair, and this is what my hair was looking like after the texture treatment was put all throughout my hair. I decided to go ahead and put it away in a 
top bun and finish my shower before rinsing it all out. Quick update, so I left the Curlific texture treatment in my hair. Technically it said it only should sit in your hair for one minute. I feel like that's super unrealistic, especially if you have type four your hair. So I just essentially left it in like any other deep treatment or hair mask. Well, actually no, because typically I would leave it in a bun, put a plastic bag on, and then throw a beanie on and let it do what it do. I didn't want to do all that today, but I did make sure that I left it in for a decent amount of time while I finished each twist and then it told me to rinse it out in cold water when I finished. That was a little unpleasant, but I will say my hair does definitely feel a lot softer and stuff, so let me go ahead and put on some clothes real quick and we can get into this styling process. From the looks of my hair, just before even taking any twists down or anything, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I haven't seen my hair look this moisturized in a while. Now, like I said, that shampoo was hella stripping. My hair felt super dry. What was that squeaky clean type of dry? Whereas as soon as I put on the texture treatment, I instantly felt like that moisture go back into my hair and the slip was amazing. Just from the looks and feel of it, my hair feels super soft. That dryness is for sure gone from the shampoo, so I'm happy about that. I'm gonna now try the Curlific Curl Definer. Go with a nice little close up. And my hair smells so good. My hair was dirty, y'all, like dirty. All right, let's go ahead and try out this curl definer. Ooh, might have been too much. The scent of this and the uh, texture treatment product, it smells so pleasant. It's kind of like a floral perfume, but it's light. It's not like super potent where it's like, wait a minute. What? Do y'all? I'm up here talking about the scents and stuff. Do y'all see, did y'all just see that? Wait a minute, I might be tripping. I might be tripping. Make sure the product's all through this section. Oh, baby. Yep. Yep, he's trying to pop them curls. I know y'all see the clump starting to happen back there. Wow. My curls look super nice with this product on it. Do y'all see that? Come on now. Come on. I'm gonna go ahead and actually rock my hair as a twist out though, instead of a wash and go, just because with wash and goes, I usually get like so many single strand knots and I'm on my healthy hair journey again, you know? So anything I can do to avoid unhealthiness for my hair, I'm gonna try to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and twist this joint up, but did y'all see that definition? Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. And twirl that bad boy around. All right, that's one. Now I'm gonna go ahead and kind of montage the rest of this process. Um, can we just acknowledge this definition though? Like, what? This is dang near better than uh, before my hair went into crisis mode. Like, the definition and the coil and the, like, I'm just, I am shook, y'all. This, this is that product right here. This, this that product. I don't know about y'all, but I'm excited. I haven't been this excited over my hair in a minute. I know y'all saw that definition. This stuff is like hair crack. If you've never tried this and you're dealing with similar issues as I was, or might still be, we'll see once I take down my twist up, but if you are dealing with like just your curls not popping like they used to, or maybe they've never been popping at all, definitely try out that product. But these are my end results, you guys. The coils and the ends of my hair look so nice and juicy and defined. I am so excited, y'all. So I will see you guys when it's time to take my hair down. What up, beauty gang? So we are back. It's been a few days. My hair is 
totally and completely dry. I'm so excited to take it down and see these results. Now, I will say one thing I did notice, however, about the product I use, it did leave a little bit of white residue. Over the past few days, I've been trying to kind of get rid of it through water or oil or whatever, but there's still a little bit left. It's honestly not too big of a deal for me because I'm honestly just trying to figure out what my definition is looking like. If it has no residue and flakes and stuff, that's cool. I just want to see what the curls is looking like. So. Without further ado, let's get into this. Oh my freaking gosh y'all do y'all see this definition those who watched the more recent video when i was saying like i ruined my natural hair y'all can already tell just from the takedown and the definition from the takedown that this is already about to be a different twist out this is how i remember my hair cooperating y'all i think this product might have really done it my hair feels so nice and healthy too it's time to separate that's gonna be the real telltale sign i feel like i need to change out of this robe though because i'm sure more flakes are gonna fall and this is a black robe so My curls are back, you guys. Bruh, this definition is just, wow. Oh, I'd like to thank God. Okay, for sure. I'd like to thank Afro G's Curlific Curl Definer. And I'd like to thank myself for not giving up on my hair. All seriousness though, it looks so freaking healthy. I know I keep giving y'all close-ups. I'm just shook by this definition. Like, I just did not know my hair was going to come through like this. Wow. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and manipulate it a little bit, slay my edges, and then I will be back so you guys can see the final results. Oh my gosh. And for anybody who's like, dang, I wish you would show it. I have tons of YouTube videos showing how I do my twist outs and even like how I stretch my twist outs and all of that. So I'll link some in the description box below if you're interested to see that process. But you know, I'm just, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to see what this is. All right, beauty gang, so I am back all glammed up, stretch my hair just a little bit. I mean, a teeny weeny little bit. This is a blow dryer a lot of my OGs have seen often. I literally just stretch the roots a tad. I'm not gonna play around with that heat too much. I'm still standing by what I said earlier when I first thought I really ruined my hair, uh, limiting the amount of heat that I use on it so it can continue to flourish. So I am just so flabbergasted, honestly, by the definition of my hair, y'all. This is kind of like, to be honest, one of the best twist outs I've ever had. Especially when that day three, day four hair hits. It's over with. But until then, this is what we got. And I'm very happy with it still. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I did. Okay, I got my hair back. If you guys are interested in any of the products that I use, they will be linked in the description box below. As well as, again, check out that karma link. Start creating your own list of favorites. Start working on your money management. Start working towards less impulsive buying. Like, this is that year for us, y'all. Let's get it together, okay? But again, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me give you one more through 16. Ooh, we back in there. I don't know about wig season anymore, y'all. This has really inspired me and made me have a newfound appreciation for my natural hair. But... That is all I have for you guys, so until next time, bye.